Hi, Noah Digital Video Community. Today we have a guest from Poland, Tomasz, the founder CEO of MCI, a loyal attendee of Noah, took the opportunity of Noah Digital at its hands and brought his portfolio star. Uh, maybe, uh, Pavel, you can give us an introduction about IDUSEL. Yeah, uh, nice to be here. Uh, the IDUSEL platform is just uh, a software as a service for e-commerce where we work with, uh, with the medium size uh, merchants. Uh, we provide them as a complex set of, uh, of uh, modules where they, where they can run their own branded website, um, integrated with marketplaces, with all the logistics payments and, and the rest of the things. And uh, we also uh, bring them the set of value added services uh, so it makes a comprehensive solution for, for uh, medium-sized shops. And in the preparation of the call, I was curious to find out the majority of the, I think, almost 3 billion GMV, uh, which is going through the systems, is on the homepage, on the website, on the merchant's shop. So you keep the interaction with the customer as a customer of yours if I do sell and you have the ability to fine tune and adjust your shop quite well is that the key differentiator so are you catering to um, the larger shops also uh, we, we believe that uh, the marketplaces have its own values so it, they, they, it has a, its pros but it's also having a, a lot of cons so it's uh, uh, the, the disadvantage of selling on marketplaces is huge commission. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 20 to 25% of the price uh, is a commission for a marketplace. So it's a lot of space to uh, take or keep that money and improve the usability for consumer. Uh, so they buy on a web page. Maybe fast forward a few years. Amazon could be the lead gen for new customers or Allegro or eBay for that matter. Uh, and then when you have retention or retained customers, you can yeah. guide them to your own shop page. And that's where you come in. Yeah, it sounds very easy, but it needs a lot of um, expertise and, and tools to, to just to execute that, that approach. So the, the branded website should have uh, the same usability uh, Amazon or Allegro is having, but it should offer uh, 10-15% uh, lower prices. I think it's uh, it's a future of e-commerce where we ex uh, again will be buying in uh, multiple points uh, of sales. So uh, this is the future we are betting at and we are trying to provide for consumers. And you don't take a 30% marketplace or 10 to 15% take rate. We're not having any commission. So uh, of course uh, there is a commission when you, when you are considering payment uh, because th this is how it business. Uh, this business so you're a payment works. provider as part of the software yeah, provider. But it's not uh, obligatory. So so this is the value added services as we call it. Good. And as part of the value added product, uh, yeah, services you offer fulfillment or integration with partners. For fulfillment, it's not uh, very popular now in, in Poland as a for fulfillment centers. It's just uh, starting uh, business. But uh, we, we provide a, a set of tools for better uh, transaction management. So it will be more efficient. The package will be shipped uh, in exact time where it should be. So it's not late. This is the quality marketplaces are trying to provide. And do you enable merchants to also do the VAT calculations and the yeah the shipments from abroad? Mostly it's a Polish tra domestic transactions uh, and, and the rest is European transactions. Say. But uh, we think a lot of sense in, in uh, remaining in the EU because it's, it's integrating, it's a huge market. So so we believe yeah. that it's uh, the primary goal is to provide a kind of things like uh, multi-languages, multi-currencies, things like uh, international shipments. So it's more important than uh, providing tax calculations.
And your clients, I assume they stay on. We have high retention rates, never change the winning system. Our merchant grew uh, 65 up to 75% uh, on GMV. So it's uh, twice the speed of, of a market. Very impressive. And, uh, and this is w w what we are proud of. So it not, not the, our own success, but the success of, of merchants. Yeah. Yeah, that's where that's where you why you have a take rate of a little bit and you bring a multiple of that. Yeah, Tomish, um few interesting learnings from this talk with Pavel. I would say first of all, there is a big e-commerce opportunity outside the big platforms, right? Which was not a natural for I would say everyone. Um yeah, before we go to MCI, how did you find this company? So, I mean, MCI have this history of being a venture capital fund that uh, we met many amazing companies when they've been more like a venture stage and we follow them for many years that I think uh, I do sell get our first offer like seven years ago. <laughs> they, they, they choose to go IPO on the Warsaw Stock Exchange. And, uh, and then we, we came back three years ago uh, helping them with going public to private. Yes, that's our, one of our most most active, most successful strategies to, to, to invest public to private in a great technology companies which went too early to the IPO market. <laughs> mm. And what is your strategy now for I do sell? We definitely will we continue to focus to build excellent platform for the Polish market. I mean, Polish market proved that it could be a huge value Let's look at Allegro, 20 billion uh, IPO. Let's look at Impulse, 7 billion IPO. That that you see there is a huge value around the Polish uh, e-commerce market. Uh, same time, Poland is starting to be the largest digital emerging Europe economy. Like uh, we see Europe as kind of two markets. You have a kind of major market, which is German-speaking countries, Benelux, UK, Nordics, yes. <clears throat> usual value with a high penetration of a US champions, yes. And then you have emerging digital Europe, which is Central Eastern Europe and, and Southern Europe, yes, where, where basically this is like five years, uh, somehow five years delay versus versus the developed digital digital Europe. Yeah? We think that that great companies from Poland can, can become a, a platform businesses uh, uh, to do the cross-border expansion around around this less developed Europe. That, that's our vision. And that's how we try to try to support and uh, manage most of our investments, uh, which, we, which we are doing in Poland, in Czech Republic, in some other big digital economies in Central Eastern Europe. What, what other sectors are you excited about um, as MCI? Like what categories you would like to see business plans for? I think we are definitely we are definitely very hot on SaaS. I think uh, and I do sell is a great example of such a su successful SaaS investment. I think the second big topic is is e-commerce. I mean we are investing in e-commerce for the last twenty years, and then I think the the third interesting area we call it digital infrastructure, which means this is everything which is helping to scale and build digital uh, digital champions. Yes, it could be also classical business models like data centers, logistic facility, logistic providers, uh, some, some some special type of production. I mean, everything which is around the uh, around digital economy, which is allowing digital economy to grow. And I think that's three major topics for our for our investments. What is also interesting, we mostly we mostly looking to invest in companies which which are already in venture capital portfolios or which are part of the strategic carve outs yes, from strategic owners or or even private equity invested. But let's say these private equity funds have a less experience in digital economy. That sort of that sort of uh, targets we are looking for. Uh, we do the typical uh, uh, mid-market private equity ticket, which is 25 to 50 million euro equity, which means usually 50 to 250 million enterprise value. And, that's, uh, and then we, we try to make it as a cross-border expansion expansion play to, to make it a kind of one of European champions or European champion as in general, yes? Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for sharing an update on MDI better than ever and um yeah the portfolio seems to do really really well thank you so much uh, you for visiting us in our amazing virtual studio thank you